It's five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. Cool down. It sounds really simple, but a lot of us are quick to just run away in the car and not give enough attention to our cool down. So just give yourself a bit of time to do a couple of jogs, a couple of skips, a couple of walks across the court and a few stretches, especially on the major muscle groups um, in our legs because if we do this then we're well on the way to getting our bodies to recover from intense exercise. If we don't, we're probably going to get into the car, seize up and then we're going to put ourselves into a difficult position if we want to recover from exercise. Size. Refuel. So make sure you're eating after you play or train for netball. Now this could just be a small snack or preferably after a big training session or a big game you want to be having a proper meal. So in my top five things to put in your kit bag video which I will link below um, I mentioned the Trek protein bites which are very tasty and they actually have 12 grams of protein so it's recommended um, that we have about 20 grams of protein after an intense training session or match and that's I'm not a nutritionist that's just what I've been advised in the past there's actually a 30 minute window to get fuel in your body where it will be most effective to help it um, help your body use all the nutrients to recover and repair your muscles. So if you can, try and get it within that 30 minutes, but if you don't, then just as soon as possible, get some fuel into you. Again, I'm not a nutritionist, this is just what I've been told in the past. There's also some more information on it on the link that I've put in the description below. Rehydrate. I feel terrible for even saying this one. Well, I don't feel terrible for saying it, but anybody who knows me knows that I am generally awful at hydration and I'm ashamed to say it, but I am. But it is very important that after you play or train, you replenish all the water that you've lost through sweat. So um, it's recommended that you weigh yourself before and weigh yourself after and then the difference in weight in grams times by 1.5 is the amount of millilitres that you need to drink to replenish your stores. So you want to do 150% uh, of what you've lost to replenish your stores, that's what's recommended. Again, I'm not a nutritionist, but I've got a link in the description below with a little bit more information on this for you. Um, I personally, ter being terrible at hydration, have been really dehydrated before, and I have been hydrated thanks to physios and coaches being on my case about it, and it's a massive difference, there's no doubt about it, both mentally and physically, you feel a lot more alert, and your muscles don't feel as sore when you are hydrated. That is, that's the truth. And that's coming from experience of being severely dehydrated and being pressured into hydration. So get on it. Get yourself a bath. So lots of athletes use ice baths. So you just need to fill a bath up with cold water, add some ice cubes, let it melt a little bit, and then jump in there. <laughs> for three to five minutes but submerging yourself in water whether it's hot or cold is good for your body after intense exercise so if you're like me and you're pretty much allergic to the cold a nice um, hot bath will do your uh, muscles good as well I like to use Epsom salts I find that they not only help my muscles but they really chill me out and so that, that, that's something that you can try and use. I also like to light candles. That might not have any effect on your muscles, but it definitely does help chill out mentally. So let yourself some candles, put in some Epsom salts, chill out, have a bath, get yourself to bed. <laughs> Sleep. It is so important in our recovery, regardless of exercise. 
So when you do have a big game or a big session, you've got to make sure that you get good sleep after it. So this could be the night after, make sure you get a nice early night. If you know you're getting up early in the morning, think about planning a nap the next day. Or if you've had a morning session or a morning um, game, then again, get yourself some sleep after it. Get a little nap. Everybody likes a pillow nap. So get yourself a nap and it will help your, give your body time to fully recover and fully restore itself after an intense session. It's five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs>